there's been a dramatic turn of events in this war around the southern Ukrainian city of Kherson. This week, Russian authorities blared out orders to all Russian-speaking citizens in Kherson to evacuate immediately. Now, this was seen as a massive retreat in the face of advancing Ukrainian troops. Ukrainian forces have been pressing on the offensive in the south of the country, and they've zeroed in on Kherson. It's the third biggest city in Ukraine. It's also a provincial capital that's been under Russian control since the early days of this war. On Saturday last, Russia had said that its forces had prevented an attempt by Ukraine to break through its line of control in Kherson. Now, within a week of that, the possible fall of Kherson would deal yet another humiliation to Moscow after a string of battlefield defeats. So how is the Kremlin then expected to react to this retreat? On Crux Decode, will Russia double down and further escalate in the face of losses in Kherson? Why is this southern port city so important for Vladimir Putin's plans? And will this also lay to rest his dreams of getting direct access to the Black Sea and thereby shutting Ukraine from its ports, making it effectively landlocked? Kherson, which had a pre-war population of about 250,000, is the only regional capital to be captured by Russian forces. The city and its surrounding areas fell into Moscow's hands in the opening days of this conflict as Russian troops quickly pushed their attack north from Crimea. Remember, Russia had annexed Crimea back in 2014. Now, the loss of Kherson was seen as a major blow to Ukraine because of its location on the Dnieper River. Kherson is right at the mouth of the Black Sea. It's also a major port and a major industrial center. Ukrainian resistance fighters have been challenging Russian troops for control of Kherson since March of this year. There have also been acts of sabotage and assassinations of Moscow-appointed officials. Kherson also sits at a point where Ukraine can cut off fresh water supplies from the Dnieper River down to Crimea. Kiev, in fact, had blocked these vital supplies after the Crimean Peninsula's annexation. In fact, one of the reasons that Vladimir Putin had explicitly mentioned when he started this special military operation was the need to restore these fresh water supplies into Crimea. Back in the summer, Ukrainian troops launched relentless attacks to reclaim parts of Kherson. Kherson also happens to be one of the four regions which Russia illegally annexed after some sham referendums were carried out there uh, in October. Ukraine has used US-supplied HIMAR rocket launchers to repeatedly hit a key bridge on the Dnieper that's in Kherson and a large dam which is upstream. The strikes have forced Russia to rely on pontoons and ferries also targeted by Ukraine. Now, this disrupts supply links to Kherson. It also blocks Russian forces on the west banks of the Dnieper, making them that much more vulnerable to encirclement. Now, these shortages were exacerbated after a truck bomb blew up part of the strategic Kerch Bridge, which links the Russian mainland to Crimea. The bridge had served as a major supply hub for Russian forces in the south of Ukraine. Putin, in fact, had blamed the Kerch Bridge attack on Ukraine's military intelligence and responded by ordering a bombardment of Ukraine's energy infrastructure. He also declared martial law in Kherson and the three other annex regions in a bid to cement the grip that the Kremlin had. But as Ukrainian forces have stubbornly pressed on with their offensive alongside the Dnieper River, the Russian troops have found it increasingly difficult to stem the advance of the Ukrainians. General Sergei Surovkin, who is the newly appointed Russian commander in Ukraine, appeared to set the stage for a possible withdrawal from Kherson. In fact, the general even acknowledged that the situation in Kherson was quite difficult for Moscow. Officials estimate that anywhere between 15 to 60,000 civilians had to be relocated by the end of the week. Moscow had warned that Ukraine might try to attack the dam at the Kavkua hydroelectric power plant, that's about 50 kilometers upstream, and by attacking the dam, they also intend to flood broad areas, including inside the city of Kherson. Ukraine has denied that, and in turn it has accused Russia of planning to blow up uh, the dam to try and cause catastrophic flooding before its retreat. 
Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, in fact, alleged that the dam was already mined by Russia. He has urged world leaders to make it clear to the Kremlin that blowing up this dam would mean exactly the same as the use of weapons of mass destruction. A retreat from Kherson and other areas on the Dnieper and the west bank of the river, this would shatter Russian hopes to press an offensive all the way westwards to Mykolaiv and then eventually to Odessa to try and cut off Ukraine's access to the Black Sea. Such a move would also deal a devastating blow to the Ukrainian economy. It would also allow Moscow to build a land corridor to the separatist region of Transnistria. This is in Moldova, it's home to a major Russian military base. The loss of Kherson will turn all those southern dreams by the Kremlin into dust. Kherson is a key part of the entire southern region which would allow Ukraine to target key supply routes for the Russian forces. Russia will try its best to try and retain control of Kherson by all means, but now this retreat, whether it's temporary or permanent, that is going to be something interesting to watch out for. For Ukraine, on the other hand, capturing Kherson would set the stage for reclaiming parts of Russian-held Zaporizhia. Zaporizhia hosts the biggest nuclear power plant in the region, and it will also give access to other areas in the south. And eventually, it will allow Ukraine to at least make a claim to push back into Crimea. Remember, Zelensky a few weeks ago had said that Crimea is very much on the table. If the Ukrainians are successful in reclaiming Zaporizhia along with Kherson, then it means that two out of the four regions that were illegally annexed by Russia after these sham referenda, they would have gone back into Ukrainian control. That means only Donetsk and Luhansk will be in Russian control. After eight months of this war, that may be the only two regions that Vladimir Putin will have to show for in his special military operation.